Hi, today I'm going to show you how to solve problem 26 from the 2016 Math King Arook grades 5 to 6. Here's the problem. A big cube was built from eight identical small cubes, some black ones and some white ones. Five faces of the big cubes of the big cube are these. And I'm using pink instead of black for this problem. We want to know what does the sixth face of the big cube look like? So we can draw a cube and start to fill in um, what the faces would be based on what we know and then figure out what the sixth face would have to be. So let's say this is the cube here and I'll divide, we'll divide it into these four square parts on each thing that would be here because that's what we have that's what the cube would look like and well we can start with this first part here well we see that there is um there is a pink here and a pink here and so we can just say that this face would correspond to here and it doesn't really matter because we could rotate the cube no matter how um it works to make this face go there. So then we could say, um, we could draw that this part is pink. And this part is pink. And then, um, well, what do we know now? We know more than just that these two faces are pink. And that's because um, a cube has to either be completely black or completely white when we put it in. For example, we can't have this cube here have a pink face here and a white face there. It would have to be entirely pink. So if this face is pink, this face is also pink. And if this face is pink, this face is also pink because they're part of the same small cube. So we know this much. And now we can try to see um, which faces it fit. So we can see this face here that corresponds to this one here. And we could say this one could be kind of like this one where the pink would be this and then the white there and then these two whites would correspond. So now we have two more, um, two more faces and we're not exactly sure where they go but we can try to figure it out so if we look at this side well we also know that right here it's also going to be pink on the other side on the other edge of that cube so we can draw this cube again and um, we can draw the cube again here and change which faces um, we're aligning in each place to try to fit um, to include some of the other faces and figure out where they are. So let's say this is the cube. It's not a great cube, but um, this would be the cube. And then we can say now um, we can move this one to this side here. Um, in order to figure out what's on the left side. Now we're including that in our picture. And at the top, well, we knew that the one right above this, which would be this one in this new drawing, is pink and everything else we had white. And that would correspond to this one, so we don't want to color anything else unless we have to, because that's already cute. And then, um, well, we would know this one would also be pink because it's part of the same cube as the other two. So this is also pink. And there's nothing else we know would have to be pink. So now if we look at it like this, well, we see this, 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 this. That could correspond to this one. We have white, pink, white, white. So this face is a face we already know about. And then um, there's the face on the other side, 
and there's the face on the bottom. And we can decide to think about the face on the bottom first or on the other side first, it doesn't matter. But let's say we want to start by thinking about the face on the other side. Um, so to think about the face on the other side over there, we could make this one now be our central cube. So we could say, we're going to put this there. And then we can draw on the top cube for the point of this cube. Now we'll include the one on the right over there. And so the one on the top, well, these two would be white, and then the one in the back here is pink. If we rotate it, we'll see that. And um, that's all we know now. And we also don't see um, any other cubes that have to belong to the same cube as these two on this drawing. They're all not on the drawing. So we don't really know about anything else that would have to be pink. Right now, there's nothing pink in this um, cube. And if we would have something pink here, then um, there would have to be something pink on the other sides too, uh, which we haven't really needed so far. We didn't want to add something because it's been working with our things. So it seems like this all white face might be the face, um, the sixth face we don't yet have, um, and D could be our answer. But we can just confirm that um, the fifth face would be the one on the bottom to make sure that that's definitely the face. So let's do that. So um, if we want to get the face on the bottom on here, we can sort of rotate this cube up and make this face be the top face. So we could say this would be the top face. And then this face would also sort of rotate up so that this would be this and then the rest would be white. And now we need to know what would be on the bottom face. Well, this square is part of the same cube as these two, so it would also have to be pink. And from the other sides, we don't know of anything else that would make this be pink. So we have pink, white, 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 which is like that, um, like these here. And so we can do, um, the only square that's left is D, which we don't have here. So the answer is D. Thank you.